Welcome everyone to another session of exam based tutorial. Today our topic of discussion is plant hormones. In simple word, plant hormones or phytohormones are chemical substances that regulate different growth functions in plants. The main functions include growth and elongation of plant body by cell division, breaking down dormancy followed by germination of seeds, formation and ripening of parthenocarpic fruit that is seedless fruit. Besides these, plant hormone also induces flowering when conditions are favorable and during unfavorable conditions it induces abscission of leaves or other injured parts of the plant body. Now let us have a basic idea on how the entire mechanism of hormone stimulated response occur. In reality, hormones binds with the receptor present on the cell membrane to form a hormone receptor complex. This complex activate a signal cascade for genes for production of desired proteins. This in turn again gives cellular responses like elongation of shoot and root, flowering, germination, leaf senescence, etc. In this video, we will discuss on five major plant hormones. Besides their names and functions, we will also explore some interesting mechanism of their actions. So let us start with auxin. Auxin is also known as indolacetic acid and is mainly responsible for growth and developmental processes. It is normally found at the tip of the root and shoot that is apical meristem and main functions of auxin include organogenesis and tissue patterning that is it induces shoot and root development, phototropism, geotropism and hydrotropism. It also helps in development of parthenocarpic fruit, flowering in plants, and it induces delayed abscission. Before I go to the next hormone, let us have an idea on how auxin is related to phototropism. Just now, we have seen that auxin are normally found at the tip of the shoot. When sunlight falls on shoot, it starts to diffuse gradually and move towards the region of lesser sunlight. Cells present near this region grow faster. This results the shoot to bend over towards the light. Similarly, auxin shows positive geotropism in root and root grows deep into the soil. Second important plant hormone is cytokinin. It is mainly found in apical meristem of roots and in times of needs, it travels upward to other parts to xylem. As the name suggests, we can well understand that cytokinin helps in cytokinesis or cell division, thus promoting growth in developing regions. It helps in parthenocarpic fruit formation as well. It also helps in enlargement of leaf and fruit and delaying aging. The third plant hormone is gibberellin. It is synthesized in plastids and modified in endoplasmic reticulum. It is mainly concerned with elongation of plant parts and breaking down dormancy of seed. Fruit formation is also some other functions of gibberellin. Let us see how gibberellin functions in germination of seed. When the plant is watered, the embryo imbibes water and swell up. It secretes gibberellin hormone which move into endosperm and then travel towards the allurine layer. Here it triggers the digestion of protein and synthesis of enzymes occurs to form amino acids and alpha amylase respectively. The enzyme with other nutrients now move into the endosperm. Here these enzymes digest the starch and protein and convert them to monomers. Embra uses these monomer molecules to form new cells and help in germination of seed. Radical and plimule develop in root and shoot respectively. So far we have discussed about hormones that are growth promoter. Now we will put some light on growth inhibitor hormone. The next hormone is abscisic acid. The name itself gives an idea about its function that is abscission. It is the hormone which helps in abscission of leaves, fruits and injured plant parts. It inhibits cell division and retards primary growth in plant body. Another important role played by it is closing of stomatal aperture on low availability of water. This is a very interesting mechanism. Let us see how it works. 
Stomata remains open when guard cells are charged and closes on loss of turgidity. Abscisic acid on binding with surface receptors of plasma membrane present on guard cells of stomata several interconnecting pathways are activated. This results in an increase in pH in the cytosol followed by transfer of calcium ions from vacuole to cytosol. It also stimulates loss of negatively charged nitrate and chlorine ions from the cell and loss of potassium ion as well. Loss of these solutes in cytosol reduces the osmotic pressure and turgidity of the cell resulting in closing of stomatal aperture. Next plant hormone is ethylene. It is a gas. It is a plant hormone that helps in the process of ripening of fruit. A very minuscule quantity of ethylene is sufficient enough to stimulate natural process of ripening. Ethylene is produced from unripe fruit and the other function also include abscission of leaves. So this was a short story on plant hormones and their functions. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Don't miss to try our quiz at the end. Thanks for watching and do visit our website www.exambiz.com. Happy learning!